in. I'm trying to get myself centered here. There we go. One you missing one week just does crazy things to you. <laughs> I hope y'all all had an awesome Christmas. I really do. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see if anybody shows up. I'm trying to get this. Boy, I think I'm messing it up worse than I'm fixing. Now then, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay. Alrighty. Let's give it a few minutes. I've got things prepped, and I hope I have not forgotten anything. I looked over everything good. I think I have everything I need. Let's see if we got anybody yet. Not yet. We'll wait a few more minutes, and then we'll start. And uh, see what's going on. Make sure my Sam's off. All the way down, rather. And of course, it's not. <laughs> of course, it's not. Okay. Alrighty. I got my laptop going. Let's see. Alrighty. I'm going to do a couple of more minutes and I'm going to go ahead and get started. And you can always watch the replay. So. Don't want to keep y'all all evening, so I want to go ahead and start. Um, tonight we are going to use two of the stamp sets that are in the new, um, let me grab it, the new Handmade for You catalog. I uh, can't show the inside yet, but I'm telling you, it's not going to be long. Won't be long at all. In fact, it's going to be, well, I could have sworn, yeah, January 3rd. Tomorrow's 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Oh, four more days. Hi, Jesse. But anyway, I'm going to use a couple of uh, stamp sets and a couple of dime sets. They're card tonight. Merry Christmas and Happy Blessed New Year. Thank you, Jesse. Same to you. Hope you had an awesome Christmas. I know you had to with that brave grandbaby. Tell you what, there's nothing, nothing like Christmas with a grandbaby. There's so much fun. So much fun. I saw him. I saw that picture you had of him where he's standing up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's growing up on you. He is growing up on you. We're going to go ahead and get started, and everybody can, else can just join in when they come. Uh, both cards I'm making tonight are super simple because I wanted something really, really simple. And uh, it was something that I just designed as quick as I could. And uh, so the first set we are going to use is the honeybee. I'll tell you what, when I saw this in the catalog, I, th I have got to have the honeybees. Love, 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 love the honeybees. And it also has a detailed bee dies that goes with it. And you can get this in a bundle, 10% discount. Best way to go. The very best way to go. Mm, excuse me, I am so sorry. I am belching my supper. Okay, we're going to start with uh, Whisper White Thick, and I have got something on it. Oh, no. That happens when I get myself to a head. Anyway, it's uh, eight and a half by five and a half. I forgot it scored at four and a quarter. We're going to give it a fold here and give it a good crease. Let me get my bone folder right here. Let's see. Okay. This is going to be the front of her card. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. He's not supposed to be pulling up. Well, yes, he is, Jesse. He is. You just don't want him to grow up. You want him little all the time. I'll tell you what. I understand that. <laughs> I wanted mine to stay little, too. There's days when I wish mine were still little. And then I get to really thinking about it. <laughs> I thought, I already raised them youngins. <laughs> I don't want to raise them again. Anyway, we have got two... Um, Face it black. I don't tell you what. Got some little fuzzies on them. We need two basic black and 
Well, my goodness. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't figure out where my directions were at. The basic black is nine and three eighths by four and eight. I have some golden honey, um, specialty DSP. Now this goes with um, the honey bee in the detailed bee dyes. Goes with this set because you can get a sweet. Anyway, this is um, mm -hmm. I no. Let me take take that back. It's not sweet. This is the freebie. Spend fifty dollars, you can get this DSP to go with your honey bee. Yep, I did not totally did not write this down, but my guess it's going to be five and eighth by four. Anyway, this is going to go on top of our basic black, so we're going to go ahead and do that because, so you can tell by looking at it, that's exactly what the size is because that's how I usually cut mine down, <laughs> you know. So anyway, isn't that size awesome too? But I just really, really wanted to use this size side for this card. But yeah, this has got the um, the gold on it. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I'll tell you what, I have missed my crafty room. I have uh, not been in here hardly. Been at work so much. And, uh, you know, with Christmas and everything. Jesse, you know, you understand that. Because I'm sure, because you worked retail grocery too so it's always a busy busy time everybody getting ready for their holiday meals and stuff and uh, so and then after that we had inventory and then today we had to finish up all of our paperwork for the end of the year end of the month end of the quarter inventory so it's been busy busy time alrighty I've got that attached I got that scrooched down a little too far and I'm not trying to try and scrooch it up I'm gonna leave it and put that one on the inside this is pieces going on the inside like this here I love this black is a layer behind this DSP. I think it makes it really pop out. So then we're gonna put this one on the front. All right here. And of course I now see what I did not get. I knew I'd forget something. It's inevitable. Sharon's gonna forget something. And of course Sharon did. But it's not gonna take me in a moment but a moment to get it. So let me lay this right up here. This is our uh, sentiment piece that goes on the inside. Uh, four by two and three fours. We have a piece of uh, gold glimmer paper. This is just a scrap that we're going to use one of our dies on. And let me get some uh, map. I'm going to make a mess. It's just going to get me a piece of uh, whisper white thick here. I'm going to cut it down because I'm going to do some stamping and die cutting on it. Sandra, glad you joined us. Yay! I am having a class on January the 14th at Hobby Lobby from 5.30 to 7.30 and it's going to cost um, $15. We're going to make four cards, two, two different designs, and a 3D project, two of those, one design. So, if you're interested, would love for you to come. Love, love, love. You're going to have to let me know so I can prep you a kit. Because if I don't know, I can't prep you a kit. So, you're going to have to let me know if you're coming. Of course, I've got to... Uh, Decide what I'm making. <laughs> I haven't decided that yet. That's what I'm going to work on Wednesday while I'm off work. This hour with my class. Okay, we're going to take this uh, piece of of uh, whisper white thick, and we're going to stamp on it. And we're going to use our 
palmetto tuxedo black. We're going to start with our beehive. So I'm going to try and and uh, there. Oh, I thought I had ink on it, but it's not. It's in that this that uh, card stock. <laughs> Alrighty, because see, we're going to cut these out. Okay. Ta da! Forgot to spritz my. My uh, scrubber. Do that. So I can get this black off of my. Um, stamp. Now we're going to stamp this bigger bee. And we're going to, I'm going to stamp one of him, and we're going to stamp him like this. Okay, then we're going to take our smaller B, and we're going to stamp two of this one. I'm going to stamp one right up here. I'm going to stamp it again, and we're going to stamp it right down here. Plus, we're going to take our envelope, which, of course, Sharon didn't get an envelope. Here, I thought I was so smart and so ready. <laughs> I don't know who I was fooling, obviously, myself. And to thinking, hey, Shelly, I'm so glad you're here. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to stamp our little bee on our envelope. Yeah, I'll make sure I'm stamping it in the right direction. We're going to stamp it this direction right here. Ta-da! Love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, I'm not doing any coloring in any of this. I'm just stamping and going to die cut it out. And we're going to go in like that. Okay, now then, let me see. All right, there it is. I knew I had <laughs> had a block that had our sentiment on it. We are using the sentiment uh, thinking of you, sweet friend. I think it's lovely. Love it, love it. This is supposed to be straight. <laughs> I checked it. <laughs> so I'm hoping it really, really is. I just want to get it in the right, going in the right direction. Sorry if my noggin gets in the way. In fact, I think I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to stamp this bottom edge and that way can, I'll, I can see a little better. Okay, it's over this way a little bit, but I ain't concerned about that. It's straight. <laughs> I'm just thrilled it's straight. Yes. All right. Now, that's all the stamping we're going to do. So I'm going to close that up, set that over there out of my way. I'm going to move all of this right here. And we're going to get the big shot over here and uh, do our die cutting. So we are going to lay this right here. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get this all straight. Y'all see my horribly cut up plate? It's okay though. See, that's still working. <laughs> still works. Okay. Now then, this looks like it's going to cut off its antennas. But it really doesn't. Just trying to get it straight on here. Okay. Now we're going to go with a B right down here. This little bitty B. As straight as I can. Let me get my other plate. I'm gonna run this through it real quick. Okay. Scoot it back that way. Piece off. That's all I need that one for, and this one. And uh, well, didn't get that real good and straight. Just kind of threw that away, but I'm not gonna fret it. Not gonna fret it. Maybe I can do better with this little bee because that bee is not real good either. Hmm. It looked like it was, but it wasn't. 
that's okay. I'm going to keep practicing with this thing, and I'm going to get it right. And we're going to put our gold glimmer paper down, and we, look at this die. <laughs> look at that. Is that not awesome? Is that not awesome? I love it. Just wait. Do you see what it does? Okay, what I'm going to do is take this off, because I'm going to pull this back through. Again, and put it back through. Well, let me see if I can I think I got that back side. Yeah, now then, let's see. Nope. We've got to see. Okay. Shop that. And what I'm going to do is take, go ahead and take my, um, well, okay. <laughs> my piercer and I'm going to poke these out right here on my plate look at that is that not awesome it's totally awesome I love it <laughs> I just love it look at there I have not thought of anything to use those for, so I didn't save them with the other one. I probably won't save them with this and either, because I really just haven't a clue what to use them for. And, uh, so I don't want them hanging around. And if I figure out something, I'll cut some. You know. <laughs> Hi, Joan. I'm glad you joined us. Yay. We are using the Honey Bee that's in the new mini catalog that comes out the third and the dyes that go with it. And I have the, the freebie DSP that you can get with $50 order. It's awesome. It's totally awesome. I'm still trying to learn how to uh, line up these dyes good. I, boy, I missed that one big time. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and put this piece on the inside with my liquid glue. See, I can't even find my liquid glue. Okay. So we're going to put that on the inside. Right, right here. You can almost just line it up perfect from the DSP. I just love this DSP. Love it. Love it. Now we're going to take one of these little bees. I think I'll take the worst looking one. <laughs> and we're going to put um, some liquid glue on the back of it. And we're going to put it, let me see where did I put it on this one. Yep, that's where I thought. About right here. Right there. And then we're going to come around here. We're going to get our uh, glue dots. Uh, dimensionals rather not glue dots we're using dimensionals and we're going to start putting dimensionals on here I think I'm going to use part of this since I've got all of this let me yeah I'm trying to find my my uh, paper snips instead of my ribbon okay I'll cut it about right there I'm going to come right across here with it Ooh, that almost was too long. I guess pretty good. It was just a guess. <laughs> I like it when I guess it right. Or pretty much so. Alright. Now then we're just going to come down here. And snip that. And we're going to put part of this. Like right here. And a little in the middle. Because you know I do not like to get saggy. So, I do that. We're going to put one dimensional on the back of this B. Right smack dab in the middle of him. And then this bigger B, we're going to put a dimensional here. And here. And one right down here. Now, now that came off of my plate. I'm not sure what it was. Okay. Now... What we're going to do is decide where we're going to put our hive, which, what I do I do with it? <laughs> I think we're going to put it about right there. 
and I want to attach our honeycomb. I'd like to try and get it how I've got it on there, but I'm not real positive. I'm going to work it like that. That's okay. All right, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of uh, liquid glue and just spots on here. Um, oops, I don't want to overdo it because I don't want a lot on it. And uh, I don't want it coming, you know, getting on the the glimmer part of my uh, paper here. Okay, now I'm going to put this about right there because this is going to be back here so this will hold this down, you know. It'll be just fine, just fine. You know, this is really simple, real easy. Anyone can do this and uh, there's no coloring, you know, no use of anything other than some dyes and and if you could learn to do better at your dye placing than that <laughs> which makes a world of difference thank you thank you Shelly so we're going to pull this off we're going to put this little bee right up here and we're going to pull these three off right here now, I did better on my first one on placing my dies, but that's because I had my face right nearly on it. <laughs> I couldn't quite do that under the camera. So, anyway. And there we are. Quick, simple, very easy. So, let me show you the, my sample one that I did. So, this is my first one. And uh, there's the, the envelope for it. So, I did pretty good. <laughs> anyway, I really like it. Hi, Kayla. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, ma'am. I think it's really cute, too. I really like it. I like the black and the white and then this pop of gold here, you know. And um, I've seen some since I had designed this with, uh, they had colored, you know, in the yellow uh, with a shade of yellow. And I like that, too. I'll probably do it, that on one also. Um, but I really am pleased with this card. Very pleased with it. Okay, look there. We've got enough time. I've got one more card ready. This one we're going to use this dress to impress that I thought, okay, I ain't going to use this. I wanted it on stage and I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is not me. Hey, Barb. And, and I'm going to tell you, it still is not me. <laughs> I do not wear makeup <laughs> unless it's a super important occasion, you know, and, uh, so, I'm just not a makeup person, and, uh, and that's my husband's fault. When we were dating, he told me he liked me better without makeup, and so I thought, okay. <laughs> I don't know if he's changed his mind since then or not, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm just not a makeup person. But anyway, this does have a dye that goes with it, but I did not buy it because, like I said, this is just really not my style. But I want to, I wanted to use it. Anyway, you know, because there is the people that this is their thing. You know, there's a lot of ladies that love this. So with this, and since I do not have the dies to go with this, and you can get this stamp set in the dies 10% discount starting um, January the 3rd when they go on sale. But I had bought some dies from another set that I did not really care for that stamp set, but I wanted the dies. They're the stitched so sweetly dies. Oh, these dies are awesome. Look at this. <laughs> it's got scallops. It's got stitching. And it's got... It's got more. More than those four. Look. It has... Labels. Four labels. And then here's two more smaller of the rectangles. With the scallop and the stitch. And see the... Um, Label dies do not have the scallop, but these are awesome. Can you not see these label dies with an awesome sentiment on there? And look how little this one is. And oh, yay, there's sentiments that you get. You put love in there. 
<laughs> you know. Hey, Gloria, glad you're here. But anyway, love this set. All I wanted was the dies. I was not interested in the stamp set. But there is a stamp set that these dies go to. And, of course, if you buy the bundle, you can get a 10% discount. These will go on sale January the 3rd, which is not very far off. Not far off whatsoever. Anyway, we are using the lipstick. We are using this squiggly thingy here. <laughs> yes, squiggly thingy. That's, some, that's my term. Squiggly thingy. We are using the sentiment, be as bold as your lipstick. We're using these four dies. We have got, a, let's see, this is a scrap of wish. Uh, this is Okay, I know it's real red. <laughs> I had to think there for a minute what color it was. It's real red. So, our cardstock is real red. Our ink we're going to be using is Memento Tuxedo Black and Cherry Cobbler. Did not want to use the real red because of the fact that I wanted to do some, some coloring. And I'm using Stampin' Blends. This is the Dark and the Light Cherry Cobbler and Smoky Slate. And we're going to stamp first what I am going to color because I want that to dry really good before I color it. This is, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I am not positive on which is which here. Because I have scraps that I'm going to be, okay, here's our envelope. I am going to be stamping on some of them. I'm just going to be die cutting them out. We have uh, two pieces of Best Dressed DSP that does go with this set. Of course, now this side I'm not interested in. Hi, Debbie. Glad you're here. One three-year-old in bed, one five-year-old still up. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I cut this bigger one that's going on the front of my card. Excuse me just a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is five and five-sixteenths by one and a half. And this strip that I'm going to put on the inside is five and five-sixteenths by a half. Now, that's going to go on the inside of my card. And we're going to have layers on this, baby. I'm loving the layers I did for this. Just wait until you see. <laughs> Okay, our card base is Whisper White Thick, eight and a half, five and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter, so we're going to give it a nice, very nice crease here on my bone folder. Okay, there we go. And, uh, all right, let's see. Yep, we're going to go this direction. Now, I have got two pieces of real red. We're going to start with those pieces first, and then I'm going to see what I'm doing here. I didn't even think to check and make sure I matched up my stuff with my, my sizes here. Let me get my liquid glue. We're going to put our first layer down with our real red. These real red pieces... I cut these at five and five sixteenths by uh, four and a sixteenth instead of the uh, three eighths by four and an eighth. I wanted to just have a little bit more of a whisper white border around this one. I don't know why. I just thought I would. <laughs> you know, I thought, well, that'd look nice. So, that's why I went with the wider border, because I just wanted something a little different. But there we are with that. Okay, now, we're going to take, let's see, let me, let me, let me, let me see. Well, let me see, that goes with that one. I'm, I'm matching up my, my stuffs here. That goes with that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm going, that goes with that one, that goes with that one. Mm-hmm. This one's going to go on here. This one's going to go right here. I'm going to go with this. This. Okay. I know which one that goes with. This goes with this. And then my lipstick. Okay, I'm going to 
what we're going to do is I'm going to stamp my lipstick right here on this side of this because I'm going to cut it out with this die and I'm going to cut out a piece of this Whisper White with this bigger die. And uh, let me see, I need the tuxedo die is what I need for this. And then I want to let it dry before I color it. Tell you what, this really stamps really nicely. And uh, I'm going to try and get that. And I'm just going to stamp it with the die there. Because I want to get it as straight as I can, you know, on here. That way I won't have to do my uh, die crooked to get it. So we're going to set this one aside over here for just a moment. And we are going to close this up. We're going to take, let's see, let's see, I need one more paste huh? Mine, I'll just cut me off a little piece of this, it'll be all right, it don't matter. Just a little piece of this will work. Let's see. It that way. Alrighty, there we go. <laughs> That's what happens when I do not triple check myself. Alrighty, we're going to stamp our sentiment on the this Whisper White thick here. I think Whisper White is what I use, but this will be okay too because it's what I have here on my countertop. And we're going to just stamp it right in the middle, like this. See how well this, I mean, these stamps, I just love them. They stamp really, really well and really crisply, crisply. I like that, crisply. Now we're going to use some of this uh, cherry cobbler. And what we're going to do is get the napkin out of my hand. We're going to take this squiggly, whatever you want to call this thing, and we're going to uh, ink it up. I'm going to stamp off twice, and then I'm going to stamp it over this. That's a little darker than my original, but that's okay. Now then, I know I had that on. Oh, there it is. Say, I know I had that on the loop. <laughs> And we're going to do the same thing, and this squiggly is going to be on the front of my envelope because there wasn't anything else. And I didn't want to put the lipstick on the front because I wasn't going to color it if I did. So I thought, I'll just do the squiggly thingy majiggy. So there we are. That's all of our inking. Now what we're going to just start doing is, well, we're going to color this uh, lipstick real quick. And then we're going to... Um, start doing our die cutting. Alrighty, we're going to use the cherry cobbler light and we're just going to color this part of the lipstick holder. That way everybody knows what color it is. They can look at it and say, oh, that's cherry cobbler lipstick. I don't know. And the sentiment says, be as bold as your lipstick. So this lipstick's got to be bold. Just wait till you see the lipstick itself. It is bold. Love it. Well, if I was a lipstick wear. Or anybody that really likes to be bold with their lipstick. I wasn't, whenever I have one, makeup. Bold was not my choice. <laughs> Give me pink, you know. Not bold red of any shade. Yeah, I had a friend that she'd have really red lips. And you could nearly see her a mile away. <laughs> Not really, but you know. They'd be really dark. Now, okay, we're going to get this cherry cobbler dark and boy this lipstick is dark look at that now cherry cobbler dark is a color for those that like to wear red lipstick and really stand out 
because boy, in my opinion, this would really stand out. And here it is. Look at that. Love it. Love it. <laughs> now then, is that not awesome? That is just totally awesome. All right, now then we're going to get our big shot back over here. However, well, we're going to cap our glue first. I don't want it to start drying out. Move the black there. And we're going to I'm going to turn it over. This is kind of scratchy too, but that's okay. We're going to put this here. We're going to line this up right in the middle of it. We're going to take our biggest rectangle and we're going to lay it right there. Now, we're going to run these through, and we'll go through and come back with it. All right. Now, look at this. And the reason I did that is because it's doing just like what this one is. This one right here is not wanting to cut right, and I had to do did it before with me. So, all right, see, so that one came off really well. All right, I'm going to run that through just a, another time. For some reason or another, it just didn't want to cut it all the way through. Okay, and it did not do it that time either. <laughs> so we're going to turn it this direction. Now I am hoping, I'm thinking, do I have it lined up? I'm hoping I do. We're going to go this direction. Because sometimes if you change the direction you're running it through, that it does better. I have noticed. See? And it popped it right on through then. Ta-da! So those two pieces go on the front. Then we have, uh, let's see. We have a real red this size, I do believe. I think we have a real red this size. Yes, we do. We have a real red this size. And then we have a piece of real red that is this size. So we're going to run those two through. And I don't have enough room for my other whisper white piece. So we'll do it last. Oops, come on. There, it's coming back. Ooh, thank you, Debbie. I appreciate you sharing. Oh, y'all played with dinosaurs today? That's cool. <laughs> I don't have any dinosaur-loving grands, so that's mine are teenagers. Okay. We're going to see if I can get these to turn without losing their spot here because they're not letting go not going to, it's not cutting all the way through so we're going to turn them this way but uh, our youngest is our great granddaughter and uh, she's in elementary school but uh, she doesn't do dinosaurs <laughs> so these, look at this Is they, are these not awesome I just love it I love it love it love it these are fabulous. Imagine all of the things you can use these for. Just oodles and oodles and oodles. <laughs> oodles and oodles of things. So that goes in there. Got that. Okay, where is my piece? There it is. <laughs> I couldn't remember what did I did with my sentiment piece here. Okay. Let me see if I got everything cut that I'm supposed to have cut. I think there's one more. I think there's one more. There is. This one right here. I'm going to put it right here. Like this. I'm going to straighten this up. It's a little bit on the crooked side. Turn my plate over. Yeah. But. Uh, Alrighty. Woo. Now then. That one came off really good. It's the only thing sometimes it's 
little pieces get on your plate in these little grooves and it'll come off but as long as it's on the back i'm not worried about it all right we gotta go this direction with this okay i gotta get it lined up okay it's lined up up there now i think i got it turn my plate back over like that thank you debbie i just i love these I, these dies are just oh i i hope these continue on after this mini catalog retires <laughs> i mean i really really do because i just love them just love them all righty now then i'm gonna scooch this out of the way we're gonna put this card together and, and we'll be done we will be done and we've got got some time here a little bit of time Okay, I'm going to get my dice out of the way. I'm going to get my my layers together. See, these three layers go together. And these three layers go together. Alrighty, I'm going to get our liquid glue. We're going to get our layers together here. And then we're going to get them on our card. So. I'm just going to do a little bit of glue on here. I'm turn it this way. I'm going to get it as centered as I can. Just like that. Alrighty. There's no sentiment on the front of this card, which is okay. You don't have to have one. You know, nothing ever says you have to have one. Or even have to have one on the inside. Because y'all know that there's been times when I have not put one on the inside. I forgot to clean off my edges here. Here it goes. Alright. Now then. I'm going to take these. And put them on this one. This is what goes on the inside. And I don't always put this many layers on the inside. But... This car, this car just seemed to say it needed it. So I said, okay, we'll put it there then. <laughs> yep, we'll just put layers on there. See, i got to go up this way. So, there's not a lot of room when we get this card together to ride on the inside, but there is room to ride. You just can't ride a whole lot. Alrighty, now then we're going to take our card base and we're going to put our um, strips of DSP on here as close and best I can in the middle. And look there, I forgot to cut it down. Uh, and I have glued it. And oh, I have got to. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Let me think. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Not good. <laughs> Still hanging over. I thought maybe I had a little better than that, but I didn't. Okay, maybe that might be a little short and a little crooked, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think it looks okay. Blue on my counter. Let me see. Did I cut this one down? No, I didn't. Let me, before I glue, let me cut it down. This is five and five sixteenths. Two, three, four, five sixteenths. I really thought, see, two, three, four. Never does for me to think I've got everything perfectly ready. <laughs> because when I think that, then I, I don't. You know what I'm saying? I need to start thinking, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And let me check myself 15 times. <laughs> so, anywho, this is still going to work just fine. I'm going to work just fine. So, here we go. Should have put this on before I put the layer on. I know. I, I didn't. <laughs> but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Here we go. Now, we're going to put our inside. Look here. I, see what I did not use? I did not use any dimensionals on this card. Can you believe it? Didn't have to. I got layers. So, it didn't need any dimensionals when you got all these layers. 
because if you put dimensionals on layers, this many layers, it pops it up way too far, way further than what it needed. But I am going to do something a little different with the front. We're going to get all these little thingies off. We're going to angle the front. I'm going to angle it about like right, like this. Pull this down just a smidge, over that way just a smidge, and there we are. See? Ta-da! There's our card. Okay, let me get the grid paper out of the way. Throw it over there. Move the snips. And uh, here's our card. Here's the inside. And our envelope. See, this one's lighter than this one, but that's okay. It doesn't matter, you know? It doesn't matter. This one's lighter, this one's darker. It does not matter whatsoever. Whatsoever. So here are our cards for this evening, ladies. All right, let me get the other. There they are. There they are. See, this one is not perfect either. These are just not perfect, but I'm not worried about it. They don't have to be perfect. That means they are homemade with love. <laughs> homemade with love. But there we are. What do y'all think? I hope y'all like them. I mean, I'm, I'm loving them myself. Whoopsie. Upside down. I am loving these stamps. I know, Jesse. No dimensionals. It is just... <gasps> But because I thought, I've got to put dimensionals on this card. And then I thought, oh, no, it has to be mailable. If I had dimensionals on it, I'd probably be paying about three times. I have to buy three or four steps to go on it. So, no dimensionals. But anyway, I love it. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Shelly. You're speechless. <laughs> You're so funny. You are so funny. I want to tell you, I hope y'all had an awesome Christmas. Our grandson and granddaughter-in-law, he is stationed at Fort Hood in El Paso, Texas. They surprised us and came home for Christmas. <gasps> oh, I was so excited. My son said he'd never, it's been a long time since he saw me move that fast. And he said, and I just shoved him out of the way. But I mean, you know, I see him all the time at work. I don't really, I have been nearly a year since I've seen my grandson. So I had to get to him as quick as I could. And my our granddaughter in law, it was so awesome. They're leaving first thing early, early in the morning, going back home. So please pray for safe travels for them. They drove here and said it was about 26 hour trip. They had, uh, their dog got sick on the way, and, uh, she, she had surgery here, here at the same vet that we used, and, um, uh, she's going to be okay. She still has to re finish recovering, but she's going to be okay, but, uh, so that's hard when you travel that far and your dog ends up sick, you know, but good Lord watched out for her and got her to the best vet that they could get for her because our vet's awesome totally awesome also um we lost johnny's sister last monday and it with the holidays and everything it delayed we did not uh have a we did not bury her until yesterday and so it's it was it was really rough week for especially for johnny he had to make all the arrangements and things himself and uh because her daughter is let's just put it this way she's not competent and uh she's not mentally she's just not competent and uh so it was ended up being johnny and uh so he's he's had a really rough week but when we got home Yesterday evening, he was just, he just breathed the sigh of relief. It was over, um, and things were taken care of, and um, she's she's at peace. She's at peace. It was her sugar, and um, it has really <laughs> made me think a whole lot about my sugar. When they, she was non-responsive, and when they got her to the emergency room, they checked her sugar, and it was 14 89 and that's death that's diabetic coma and um 
Of course, mine's never been anywhere near that. I think the highest my be mine's been is it's pushed 300, and that scared the bejeebies out of me. So I, I'm trying to keep mine down, but I'm trying even harder now because that scares me. You know, it, it scares me, and sometimes it takes something like that to scare you into taking better care of your health. So I'm telling y'all, if any of y'all have type 2 diabetes or even type 1, but especially type 2 because that's what we have, uh, I have, and that's what she had, please, please, please take care of yourself. So, because I do not want anything to happen to y'all. Y'all are my dear friends, and I love y'all. And I pray for y'all every day. And uh, I know Johnny would covet your prayers for peace for him and um, his brother and his other sister. And, guys, y'all just don't know how much I appreciate y'all. Y'all are such awesome friends. And I appreciate y'all coming and listening to me rattle on and make my cards and things and uh be silly sometimes i know but i, I you just don't know how much i appreciate y'all and how much i love y'all and uh i appreciate your comments and your your smiles and your hearts and and uh everything y'all y'all just means the world to me and um so just just keep all of us in your prayers because I pray for y'all every day and I want y'all to pray for each other because we have to have those because, you know, uh, God takes care of us, but uh, we have to take care of our friends with prayers. And uh, and yes, I will be taking care, better care of myself. Uh, I've stuck my fingers so much. This one's bruised. <laughs> And uh, when I stuck my fingers this morning, I almost cried, but I remembered, oh, I ate something, you know, and I have to really watch how long it is after I eat before I stick my finger for it to be correct. And, uh, but anyway, but y'all take care of yourselves too. I want y'all to have an awesome new year. I'm going to tell you what, I will be at work tomorrow evening. I get off at 10. We close the store at 10 and I... I'm, I'm just praying that we I have, all of us workers will have a safe trip home and that people are not already got, got out and, and drinking. That's the part that scares me is them getting out and driving and drinking. And uh, so, but I want y'all to be safe too. Y'all take care of yourselves. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'm off Wednesday. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know, I'm ready for it. Uh, it's just been an emotional week. And uh, then um, I'm having a card class on the 14th. I've got to prep for that. And I'm just, it's just going to be an awesome year. I can tell it. I can tell it with our new catalog coming out. I don't know if everybody saw our handmade for you catalog. Shelly, I need to get you one in the mail. <laughs> and then I don't even think I've got the, uh, I don't know if I've got a celebration one right here. Oh, I do. Here's the celebration part. Because if you spend $50, there's thing, quite a few things in here you can get free. Some of them you have to spend 100 And then they have the awesome, 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 let me find her, little ladybug. This is the... Uh, celebration host set now you have to spend three hundred dollars to get her i thought it was 150 but it's not it's 300 and you automatically get this but i'm gonna tell you what this set is well 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 worth it because i love it love it love it love it love it it is awesome these little ladybugs and the flowers and the sentiments and everything but you know what you can do is just uh get your friends together and let's buy all of this products and then you'll have your three hundred dollars and get this stamp set free so anyway Okay, I'm through with my pitch. Love you guys. Y'all have an awesome week. Happy New Year's to all of y'all. And good Lord willing, I will be right back here next Monday evening at 7 Central. Love y'all. Bye.